Vegan Thanksgiving 2020, y'all. Let's not waste any time. We gotta get the day started right here. Got some coffee and some vegan donuts from a local grocery store here in Austin, Wheatsville. And this is a pecan pie vegan donut and a chocolate vegan donut. Let's get it started here. Get you a bite of this. Take this to the dome, y'all. Change that with the coffee. Cheers. What's up everybody, welcome back to the Eat More Plants Official Kitchen. Today, I'm gonna show you how to cook and eat a vegan Thanksgiving feast, step by step, y'all. Let's not waste any more time here, let's get right into this. The Eat More Plants Official Mushroom and Herb Brown Gravy. Going in with some vegan butter, let that melt down. To this, going in with some onions here. And some minced garlic, going in. Mix this in. Once that onion and garlic's been in there about five minutes, going in with my sliced mushrooms here, y'all. Mix these in. All right, those mushrooms have been in there about one minute. They're starting to sweat. I'm going in with some all-purpose flour here. Mix this in. It's gonna clump up on you. Once that flour is mixed in, I'm gonna deglaze this pan with our veg stock. Scrape the bottom of that pan. Make sure you get all the flavor off the bottom of that pan. We're gonna turn our heat up to high here, bring this to a boil, and I'm gonna change over to a whisk to remove any lump. Gravy's coming to a boil here. I'm just gonna cut this heat down to low. Let this simmer until everything's nice and thick here. All right, this has been simmering about 20 minutes. I'm going in with some salt, fresh ground black pepper going in, and a sprig of fresh thyme, or a little more if you want. Mix this in. And we're just gonna let this continue to simmer about 10 more minutes, and this will be all done. You're finished. Mushroom and herb gravy, all done. All right, let's make the Emo Plants official garlic mashed potatoes and candied sweet potato mash at the same time. Going in with my russet potatoes on this side. Going in with my sweet potatoes on this side. These russet potatoes should cook about 15 minutes. These sweet potatoes should cook about 20 to 25 minutes. Got some vegan butter going in here. We're gonna make our garlic butter cream for our mashed potatoes. To this butter, going in with some minced garlic. Mix this in. When that garlic turns golden brown, we're just gonna go in with our coconut cream here. You guys can use whatever vegan heavy cream you want. If you wanna use soy cream, you can. Cashew cream, you can. But I'm using coconut cream because it's easiest. And you can also use plant milk if you want. It'll just be lighter and it probably won't taste as good or rich, but it'll still be good. We're just gonna let this simmer on a nice medium heat for about 10 to 15 minutes until that garlic is nice and infused into that coconut cream. Potatoes are all done, let's drain these. Transfer these to a bowl here. And just mash this in, y'all. Candied sweet potato mash. All right, sweet potatoes all done. Now we got these russet potatoes here. To these, really simple, we're just going in with our garlic butter cream. Homemade vegan garlic butter cream, y'all. The Eat More Plants official. Garlic mashed potatoes. Get all that garlic and some salt here going in. Simple, y'all. That's how we keep it for Thanksgiving over here. Take your whisk or your potato masher and mix this in. Let's give these a quick taste. Oh my goodness. Absolutely incredible, y'all. The Eat More Plants official garlic mashed potatoes and candied sweet potato mash. All done, mac and cheese. Going in with some salt here to some boiling water. Don't be shy with the salt now. Got some shells, you guys can use mac if you want. Use whatever kind of pasta you want. Going in with these. Cook these according to the package instructions. While that pasta boils up, we're gonna make the Eat More Plants official vegan mac and cheese sauce. Going in with some vegan butter here, y'all. Let that melt down. Once that butter melts down, going in with some onion and some garlic here, y'all. Right in with it. Mix this in. Once that garlic starts to turn golden brown, go in with some turmeric here. And I love turmeric, it's such a healthy spice, anti-inflammatory, it's got all kinds of health benefits. And this is gonna give us some color as well. And some flour here, y'all. Going in with some of this, just plain all-purpose flour. Gonna make a roux here. Mix this in, it's gonna clump up on you. We're just gonna deglaze this pan with some plant-based milk or veg stock here, going in as well as some coconut cream here. And this is the brand I recommend, My Ploy. It's my favorite coconut cream. It's the only kind I buy. Going in with some of this. Just gonna switch over to our whisk here. 
whisk this in until there's no lumps left. We're just gonna turn our heat up to high here and bring this to a boil. Once this comes to a boil, just gonna cut this heat down to low and let this simmer for about 25 minutes. Real quick, got some salt here going in. Mix this in. Once it's been simmering about 20 to 25 minutes, I'm going in with my vegan cheddar cheese shreds here. This is Daya Cutting Board Collection. Going in with one package of this. You guys can use whatever kind of vegan cheddar cheese shred you want. Whisk this in until all this melts nicely into that cheese sauce. Let's give this a quick taste. Yeah, it's on hit. Boss is all done here. Let's drain this. We want some cold water over this to stop the cooking process. Last step here, let's go with our cooked pasta. Right in with this. Mix this in. The Eat More Plants, official mac and cheese, y'all. Can we get a zoom in real quick? Look at that. Creamy, rich, plant-based mac and cheese. All right, this is all done. Remove this from the heat. There it is, y'all. All right, set this aside. Hey. Is it on? It is. All right, y'all, after all that cooking, we deserve it. Deanna's helped me prep a ton today. I'm having a Stella Artois, and she's having a White Claw. Like a basic girl. <laughs> Cheers, baby. Cheers. Get you a sip of this if you're under, no, excuse me. <laughs> if you're over the age of 21, get you a sip of this. If you're under the age of 21, get you a ginger beer. gone. Let's get back into this. We got our oven preheated to 400 degrees. This is a couple of days old French bread. I just sliced it into cubes and we're gonna throw it in the oven to dry out. You don't want too much moisture in this. We're making our stuffing. About five to ten minutes at 400 degrees. Bread's all done here. Set this aside. Let's make the Eat More Plants official sausage and herb stuffing 100% vegan. So I got some olive oil going in here. You guys could use butter if you want or a mix of olive oil and butter. It's up to you. To this Got some beautiful Beyond Sausage. This is one of my favorite vegan meat replacements. Going in with some of this, y'all. All right, once this sausage is nice and seared on both sides, we're just gonna remove this and set it aside. But leave that oil in the pan. Onions to this sausage-infused oil here. Also going in with some garlic here. Mix this in. Once those onions and garlic have been cooking up about five minutes, I'm going in with my celery here. Mix this in. Once that celery cooks up about five more minutes, I'm going in with some fresh parsley, fresh thyme. Mix this in with that oil. Once that parsley and thyme's been cooking in there about one minute, going in with some veg stock here, just deglaze this pan, y'all. Mix this in, scrape the bottom of this pan, get all the flavor off the bottom of that pan, cut our heat up to high. We're gonna bring this to a boil. While this comes to a boil, going in with one flax egg, which is just one tablespoon of flax mixed with two tablespoons of water. I got some medjool dates that we just pitted and sliced up here, going right in with these. Going in with some salt here. Also, black pepper going in. Mix this all in together. Let everybody get to know each other in there. Once this is boiling here, really simple. We're just gonna take our bread, go right into a greased baking pan with this. Then go right over the top with this mixture here. Make sure it gets all well incorporated on there. Mix this very well until every piece of bread is coated here, y'all. Our bread is all coated with that delicious mixture going in with our seared Beyond Sausage right on top, y'all. Right in with this in the oven, 375 degrees for about 30 minutes. Our beautiful stuffing, all done here. Y'all see that Beyond Sausage, all that flavor in there, man. Let's make us some roasted vegetables real quick. We got some carrots going down here. Got some Brussels sprouts going down here. Got some olive oil going down here. Salt, pepper, drizzle of maple syrup going down. Mix this in with your hand, really good, y'all. Once these are well coated and then marinated, I'm just gonna throw these in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes till they're completely cooked through. Let's get these out of the oven, y'all. All done here. Also got our Trader Joe's turkeyless roast cooked this according to the package instructions. It's all done. 
and we love these y'all. We had this last year, it's got a nice crispy breading on the outside. Roast number two right here, the Field Roast Hazelnut Cranberry Roast. It's got like a layer of dough around the outside. We've never tried this one before, so we're pretty excited to try this. Let's get this in the oven. Going right in with this. Let's check this roast. Look at the golden brown. I cannot wait to try this. Now we're gonna make these vegan crescent rolls, the Immaculate brand. I highly recommend these. And what we're gonna do is take these up a notch. We're gonna put some vegan cheddar cheese right on there. Also, some jalapenos, y'all. So cheddar jalapeno crescent rolls. It's gonna be delicious. Once you got your cheddar and jalapeno on there, then just roll them up the same way you unrolled them. Going in the oven. Crescent rolls are all done here. Beautiful. I don't even like cranberry sauce that much, but you guys were telling me I needed it last year, so I listened and I made that improvement. We got cranberry sauce in the building. All right, let's carve these roasts up. I'm excited about this one with the crust on the outside. It's like a Wellington or something. Look at this. Looks pretty good, guys. It's looking real nice. Got some uh, nice stuffing in there too. When I cut it, all this flake action is just flying off of here. Roast number one's looking incredible. Now for roast number two. And I know this one's good. I've had this before, so. Very nice breading and the uh, wheat protein inside is really good. And the stuffing's good. The gravy they give you with this one is not as good, but that's why we make our own gravy. All right, y'all, here we have it. Vegan Thanksgiving 2020 from the Eat More Plants official kitchens. Right here, we got our Trader Joe's and our field roast, all cooked to perfection. We got the Eat More Plants official garlic mashed potatoes, mushroom and herb gravy, some Brussels sprouts, the cheddar jalapeno crescents. Some sweet potatoes, the homemade sausage and herb stuff. Some carrots, the Emo Pints official mac and cheese. This is a pecan pie that I bought from the grocery store, 100% vegan. Right here, we got some cranberry sauce and a loaf of bread. That's it, y'all. Long day of cooking, 100% worth it though. It's gonna be delicious. Let's eat. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed. Spend it with some friends and family. Spend it with whoever you want. I'll be spending mine with Deanna here. She's ready to eat. Let's do it. Here's my final plate, y'all. Finished. Look at that. Just overflowing over the sides. Know what I'm saying? That's how a Thanksgiving plate should be. Let's not waste any more time here. Let's get right into this. Long day of cooking. Get you a sip of this. If you're over the age of 21, take this to the dome. All right, look at this plate, y'all. Oh, yes. Let's dive in. It's time. Started off with this roast, field roast. A little bit of cranberry sauce right on there. Get you a bite of this. Mmm, that's delicious. Good breading. The inside's got a nice stuffing. It's kind of sweet from these uh, cranberry. You know what that is? Mm -hmm. From these cranberries? Man. Let me show you this. The spices? Yeah. Yeah, it tastes like it's definitely got some, some spices. And it's got that nice breading. Where's that gravy at? Give it a good dunk right in that gravy. Mmm. That one's good. The gravy? That roast? Yeah, it is. And the gravy is great. All right. Chase that mm. with some mashed potatoes and gravy, y'all. Garlic mashed potatoes. Mm. Mm. Get you a bite of this stuffing. Got a piece of Beyond sausage on there and 
homemade stuffing, y'all. Let's get a bite of this. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That stuffing is good, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh my. What's that dog? Mm -hmm. Y'all, try these recipes. Impress your family and friends. Clear that palate, y'all. All right, what next? I'm gonna try this right here. The cheddar jalapeno crescent roll, y'all. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. The cheese and the jalapeno in there, those are good really call. Good, yeah. You know what, it reminds me of kolache. This right here? Yeah, that's true. I'm gonna find some of that Beyond Sausage. Now it's a kolache, you see? You got the, the sausage, the cheese, the jalapeno, and the uh, crescent. Hey, Tuck, what are you doing, man? <laughs> Get you a bite of these. Candied sweet potato mash, y'all. Mm. I want you to try the- uh, That's great. The TJ's roast and compare it now that we've had that on. Okay. I was actually just about to get this other one we just bought, but or I was about to get this field roast. Let's try that TJ's roast now. Mm. Still good. I need another bite. I didn't get a good bite, y'all. This is the TJ's roast. Nice breading on there. Nice protein in there. Mmm. It's good. They're both amazing. If I had to choose one, mm -hmm. I think I'm going with this one right here. Yeah, me too. Look at that. I mean, you can't beat that breading, that crust, that stuffing, and the, the middle of it is amazing. Oh, just dropped my knife. Take some mashed potatoes and gravy, put it right on that. And get you a bite of this. Take this to the dome, y'all. Mm. This one's better. Chase that with some mashed potatoes. Russell sprouts, y'all. Eat your vegetables. Mm. Bite of this right here. Cooked carrot. More mac. Oh, baby, he wants more of that. Oh. <laughs> I think our dog is hungry. All right, get you a bite of this right here. Some roast, some stuffing, and some potatoes. Mm. Let me try this. Mm-hmm. Mm. I just put it on that last bite, actually. It's good. Mm-hmm. Everything's on hit, y'all. There's nothing I would change. Last bite here. I'm getting full. Get you a bite of this right here. You got some stuffing. Take this. Some roast in there, too. Mac and cheese. Mashed potato. Mm. Absolutely amazing, y'all. That's it. That's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Happy Thanksgiving to every one of you. And you guys say bye to Tucker. Tucker, say bye. All right. And say bye to Deanna. Bye. We're about to just eat some pecan pie and ice cream, watch a movie, and crash, y'all. So good night. Hope you guys have a good one. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Share this video. See you guys next time. Eat more plants, y'all.